Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today we are going to make this card. Um, I got these off a site called Temu. This is the Frankenstein one and then this is the Eat These Here came together. So and I print it off the picture from the site and I put it in with my little Frankenstein. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out the eek and I've done it three times and stacked it. So I've also used my um, black suit distress ink and gone around everything with um, some black soot just to highlight it so I am just going to put him together no I want to put this one on first and then that one see I nearly made a boo-boo and I've mucked his trousers up already Right, stay. That's because I didn't use the quick dry. I used, I used the claw. Right, okay. So he's going on there like that. Let's get the other glue out that dries quick. Okay. Right, his eyes. Let's do his eyes if we can. There we see. Right. Oops. Too much. Too much. So you put the white bit on. Oops. Come on, turn over. Like that. Okay. Then you want to put the little black bits on. Okay. One more. Oops. Okay, now where's the little green bits? There's the little green bits. And you want to put them then over that. And give it a good firm press to hold it down. This is a really quick one that comes together, thankfully. It doesn't take that long to put it together, so you have time to do other stuff. You have plenty of time. Now, that one goes on there. Oops. Like that. That one goes on there. Like that. Right. Now we want his wee patch. Oh, well, we'll put his feet on first. And they are just going to go on. Like that. Okay, and then we want 
There's a little button on his jacket and a little patch on his leg. And that is him finished. Oh no, uh, there's another little patch for his jacket. That goes up there. And it does have the specific outline. Put it on. And that is how quickly that little man came together. So what we do next is get out our our stencil. This is also from that new site and I want to start with this one okay right and I need the light green brush for this not the dark green one we're using some twisted citron and we are just going over our circles and I'm using quite a heavy hand and I hope you can hear me all right I have an ear infection problem and it is blocked up today with some sort of gunky drops that they gave me Seeing as the antibiotics just weren't working. So we'll see how this goes. Ah, I moved it. Oh, boulder dash. Let's hope. See, I was going too fast. I was trying to knock it out too fast. Oh, come on, you horrible beast. There. Let me see how we did. We just did a little bit out of that one. That one's not too bad. Right, so then I'm going on with this. And there's no actual specific way to do this I don't think so I'm just putting it on and this piece of card is five and seven eights by five and seven eights and we will be cutting it down so right right persimmon let's go with right persimmon and see how that goes. Now you have to be a little bit more careful with this one because it is strips and you don't want to muck it up. So I don't think this is the same colour that I used in the last one but that doesn't really matter. It's whatever floats your boat. Let me see. Oh, yes. We're kicking on gas, people. We're kicking on gas. In other words, we're rock and roll. Um, softly, softly, catchy monkey is the, the right way to do this. And I am following along the lines. I don't want to be doing it up and down. You see, that's normally the way you would do it. But I would worry that I would smudge it. And I don't want to smudge it. And get lines that aren't 
clear specific lines and blobs instead of lines and we don't want that on our cards although saying that I have seen some blob shaped stamps and used in mixed media etc so whatever floats your boat is what I say let me just check yep we are good to go ha ha and the final one is this one and we are going to use villainous potion for this one and I am going round and round for this one round and round and round you go where it stops nobody knows And I am just doing these in Halloween colours because I am making a Halloween card. This would look nice in pinks and purples, soft yellows and oranges. It would just be pretty. It is just a pretty background stencil. And we're on the home stretch here. I have to go both ways to catch all edges of the of the circle shapes. Yep, we are good to go. Okay, I will wash them stencils off in a minute. I am going to wash off my. my jig, my stencil board, tonic stencil. Okay, so I'm using a 6x6 six six card base, but it's actually a 6x6 six six envelope. The card base is 5 and 7 eighths, approximately. So my black piece is five and five eighths. Okay, and I've cut my stencil piece down to five and three by five and three eighths. And I need to be careful because my ink is still wet and I could possibly smudge it. And we don't want to do that. So we don't. Okay. Yeah, I just clean that just to make sure I don't get any of that ink on the back of my card piece. Right. Now we want to put on our ink first. So we do. And this is actually quite a large die. And it's going on there like that. So, and the reason I was on the Temu site is we were looking for goodies for TJ's birthday party so if you watch me you'll know that my grandson lives with me and on 
Halloween night, he will turn 10. And Halloween is a big deal to us. So we decorate for Halloween. And he has a party. And I make the invites and the goodie boxes. So we were on buying stuff for the goodie boxes. You know, Halloween rings and things. And bouncy balls that are pumpkins. I think we got some pens. I'm not sure. I didn't. I didn't invest. Sticky man, I think was the was the one thing he was looking for. Sticky skeletons. I think he got those. So, just the, the usual little furry things that you put in the goodie bodies, goodie bags. Except ours are all Halloween themed. And we will get Halloween sweets, eyeballs and that from B&M. And I need to decide what sort of giddy box I'm making this year. Last year I made the Sam Calcott one uh, with the springy things that sprung out and it went down a treat. They all loved them so thank you Sam for that idea. Much appreciated. So who knows what we're doing this year. Anyway, there you go. That's our card ready. Both exactly the same, actually. I did use the same colour ink. So thank you for stopping by. It was much appreciated. I do hope you liked it. And I hope you pop back for some more. Hope you're all safe and well. And until the next time, Jackie out.